Yo, I got a question for you, man. Um, relationships, relationships, relationships. Super important. Look at that smile, man. I know you like to talk about this type of stuff. Uh, some green flags in dating, man. I know you've been talking to, um, you know, uh, people and having opinions on things, and people have been giving you opinions. We've been talking about it uh, in, in the group chat. Uh, what is your opinions on green flags when you're in the dating world? Pure communication. Communication, key. Uh, communicating on expectations. Yeah. On the, it's not what you say, but how it's said, how it's presented. Yeah. Mutual understanding. And what I mean by mutual understanding, understanding for comprehension. Yeah. Not, oh, I want you to be a certain way, and then they perceive it differently. Right. Green flag showing interest. Green flag acts of service, affirmations, verbal, physical. Uh, being appreciative. Okay. Saying thank you, thank you for the dinner, thank you for the flowers, thank right. you for an hour to come see me. Uh, thank you for thinking of me. Like showing showing appreciation and acknowledging it. Yeah. People have different ways of showing it. I'm here. That's my way of saying thank you, but they don't verbally communicate that. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say green flags for me is um, not necessarily move slow, but like you could tell like they're gauging you. You know what I'm saying? Like and, and listening to you and um, and that communication part, letting you know what they discovered that they don't like. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. Because it's like you don't want nobody to be so quick on the draw just because you're attractive. You know what I mean? And you, you don't want them to, to, to just run up and be like, oh, I'm with it. Whatever, 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 like whatever's going on, I'm down with it because you're attractive. Right. And um, right. so like when uh, a female like kind of like gauges you and tells you like, oh, yeah, this is something I don't like. It's kind of it's very attractive. You know? It's like, oh, snap. Like you, you vet people before you actually get into and in, to involve. You know, you know what I mean? Uh, and then for me, another green flag is is. Um, Someone who could cook. Um, it's a green flag. There's a lot of women out here that don't cook. And, um, I wish I had a woman that could cook for me because every time. Yeah, my problem. Time, my I problem is know. I cook, bro. And I, when you cook, once you cook, it's like it's over. They don't cook no more. What's up with that? Well, not just that, but sometimes the food is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, most times. That's been my biggest problem. I'm going to say most times. I have, I've never, I have yet to find somebody who could cook better than me that I was in a relationship with. I'm waiting for that day. <laughs> I'm waiting for that day. Don't be like, oh, I made you some arroz con pollo. Arroz con pollo. Eat chicken, but thank you. And I eat the rice. And right. I'm just like, where's the flavor? Yeah. You, you, you'll be surprised. I mean, but then again, that's just me having high expectations because I'm about that in the kitchen. Yeah, you borderline <laughs> chef, boy. You don't, don't say about that. Just be real with yourself, man. <laughs> I ain't real myself. It's just, I don't want to sound like an arrogant. So like, oh, he's because okay. he won't let his woman cook. It's one thing if a woman cooks for me. It's one thing if it's not enjoyable. Yeah. Okay, so we, we just hit a red flag for ourselves because we don't appreciate the women that try to cook for us. So that's a red flag for us. <laughs> yeah, here's, here's my thing. If you're going to do something, do it right the first time. Yeah. No, I, and like, I, I mean, listen, I, I generally appreciate a woman who likes to cook. And, and then I think, like, maybe uh, you got to think like this. Like, th us thinking out loud and us thinking third person. Like, maybe because we can cook very well, that it's kind of intimidating for somebody who cooks. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> I'm upset, man, because I cook for you, man. Uh, when I was out there, I cooked some, um, what's that? Car did, carnitas. I was hooked, but then I, I did make that in Ohio. What did I make again? Um, what, that uh, chicken cutlet tacos? Yeah. So that I, was had to get, that was I had to get you back. I had to get you back, man. Come on, man. Yeah, no, <laughs> 